We just commissioned the two satellites, GOMEX 4 A and B, now ready for final demonstration for the usage of, uh, of surveilling the, the Arctic area. We're here to basically announce that uh, the GOMEX 4B satellite is ready for undertaking its nominal mission and uh, starting the real mission operations for the next six months. We have uh, two uh, very advanced satellites uh, in, in a constellation flying a formation. The two satellites have uh, the individual tasks to do in space. We are, we are working with, uh, with ESA uh, on the GOMEX 4B and uh, we are going to supply data for the Danish defence for the GOMEX 4A. We've been collaborating with GOMSpace since uh, around 2013. We've done two successful projects together. The main mission for the, the constellation as such is to demonstrate that we can communicate between the two satellites in a, on a very long distance. CubeSats are quite a new um, phenomenon for us. It's the first time GOMSpace is doing it. It's the first time we see that kind of advanced technology being used in the nanosatellites, in the combination, so to speak. With the performance of the technology in flight increasing rapidly, uh, we're able to see that uh, CubeSats can be utilised for real operational missions and that will include uh, operation in large constellations of spacecraft. We as a company is developing very fast but also the, the, this, this business segment is developing very fast. Our future nanosatellite missions are now becoming more ambitious, more sophisticated as we see the basic capabilities demonstrated like on GOMEX 3 and GOMEX 4. Today we have seen and we celebrate that the two satellites are in good shape. Our twins is behaving well in space and they are fully performing as expected.